Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation x cubed minus x squared plus 6x is equal to 36 and we need to find all possible values of x. We will solve it by two methods. So, let's start with method 1. In this method, first of all, we move this 36 to the left side. x cubed minus x squared plus 6x this plus 36 becomes negative 36 is equal to 0 next x cubed minus x squared plus 6x now we split this negative 36 as we split this negative 36 as negative 27 minus 9 we split this negative 36 as minus 27 minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, because this 27, this 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So, we write this 27 with this x cubed. Like this x cubed minus 27. Then this negative x squared negative x squared plus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, because here we have x squared and 9 is equal to 3 squared. So, we add and subtract 9 in the form of 0 in the whole expression like this x cubed minus 27 minus x squared plus 6x minus 9 and we add 9 and we subtract 9 is equal to 0. Now, we write this plus 9 with this negative x squared like this x cubed minus 27 minus x squared we write this plus 9 with this negative x squared plus 9 then this plus 6x plus 6x and this negative 9 and this negative 9 becomes negative 18 is equal to 0 next x cubed we can write this 27 as 3 cubed we write this 27 as 3 cubed minus 3 cubed and we use parenthesis here minus we use parenthesis then this uh, negative x squared becomes a positive x squared and this positive 9 becomes negative 9 plus this 6x minus 18 6x minus 18 is equal to 0. Next, according to this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This x cubed minus 3 cubed can be factorized as x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 and this minus will come here minus and because this 9 this 9 is same as 3 squared so according to this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b we can factorize this uh, x squared minus 3 squared as x plus 3 times x minus 3 and from these two terms uh, plus 6x minus 18 we can factor out uh, plus 6 plus 6 times in bracket left x minus 3 is equal to 0 
now as you can see this expression x minus 3 this expression x minus 3 x minus 3 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x minus 3 x minus 3 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this uh, x squared plus 3x plus 9 minus x plus 3 and this plus 6 in bracket left this x squared plus 3x plus 9 minus x plus 3 and plus 6 is equal to 0 next x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 this minus will change the signs of this x and this 3 this positive x becomes negative x and this plus 3 becomes negative 3 and in the last we write this plus 6 is equal to 0 next x minus 3 times this x squared x squared and plus 3x minus 1x plus 2x and this uh, plus 9 minus 3 plus 6 and plus this 6 plus 12 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 2x plus 12 is equal to 0 from here x is equal to 3 this is the first solution this is the first value of x now to find other two values we solve this quadratic equation this is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 12 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b 2 plus or minus square root of value of b 2 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 12 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 12 48 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 48 negative 44 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of we can write this in negative 44 as 4 times 11 times negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 11 and this is square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i so we replace this uh, square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2 so from here we get two values of x x2 is equal to negative 2 plus square root of 11 times i and value of x3 is equal to negative 2 minus square root of 11 times i and first we find the value of x1 is equal to 3 so from method 1 we get these three solutions of this equation 
Now let us solve this equation by method 2. In this method we move this uh, negative x squared and this plus 6x to the right side. Like this x cubed is equal to this negative x squared becomes positive x squared and this plus 6x becomes negative 6x. In, in the last we write this plus 36. Next x cubed is equal to x squared minus 6x. Now we split this plus 36 as we split this plus 36 as 9 plus 27 because this 9 9 is equal to 3 squared and this 27 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So we split this plus 36 as plus 9 plus 20. 7. Now we move this uh, plus 27 to the left side. x cubed and this plus 27 becomes negative 27 at the left side is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. Next x cubed minus we can write this 27 as 3 cubed. We write this 27 as 3 cubed is equal to we write this expression in the form of a perfect square like this a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. We write this expression in this form like this x squared plus we write this 9 as 3 squared and minus this 2 times this first term x times the second term 3 and this is equal to this negative 6x minus 2 times x times 3 is negative 6x. Now according to this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This x cubed minus 3 cubed can be factorized as x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to and according to this algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to this a minus b whole squared. According to this algebraic identity this x squared minus 2 times x times 3 plus 3 squared is equal to x minus 3 whole squared. Next x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to we can write this uh, x minus 3 whole squared as x minus 3 times x minus 3. Now we move uh, this expression to the left side. First we write this expression x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. This uh, positive expression becomes uh, negative x minus 3 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression x minus 3 this expression x minus 3 is a common factor. So we factor out this x minus 3 x minus 3 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this uh, x squared plus 3x plus 9 minus this x minus 3 in bracket left uh, this x squared plus 3x plus 9 minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Next 
x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. Now, this minus will change the signs of these two terms. This positive x becomes negative x and this negative 3 becomes positive 3 is equal to 0. Next, x minus 3 times x squared. Now, this plus 3x minus 1x plus 2x and this plus 9 plus 3 plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 2x plus 12 is equal to 0. From here x is equal to 3. This is the first value of x and we have already solved this quadratic equation and we have found the solutions by solving this equation we find the solutions x2 is equal to negative 2 plus square root of 11 times i and x3 is equal to negative 2 minus square root of 11 times i. So, these are the three solutions of this equation.